guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today is going to be my second video on the new season. This is also about the Deadline article, so if you missed my video yesterday, please be sure to go check it out. It's going to be on the top right corner of the screen right here. Click on it if you want to watch it right now, or you can watch it later. But these videos are kind of like part of a little series of videos I'm doing, because this interview with Deadline that Eric Wallace, the showrunner, did, has a lot of information and like I said yesterday I think it's best if I split it up so I can go into proper detail about all the different things that he brings up because they're very interesting and so each of these videos have specific topics that I'm going to be mainly focusing on like yesterday's video was basically on the future of the flash and obviously we're going to be touching on it in this video as well because there is another question to do with that but it's also to do with the villains this video is mainly to do with what's going to be happening with reverse flash with whoever's going to be the main villain next season and all of eric's teasers towards that and then tomorrow's video is going to be mainly about eric's responses to all of the crossover questions because there is a lot to bring up with that as well so please be sure to stick around and Obviously, that video is going to come out tomorrow, and that's going to be like the third video in this mini series that I'm doing. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So, as I said before, the link will be in the description below. You can go check out the article from Deadline where they interview the showrunner of The Flash, Eric Wallace. And so, this is the first question we're going to go into What more can you tell us about what's to come next season? And so, Eric Wallace replies, I would say this is the season of The Flash where we're making a conscious effort to turn Grant into The Flash from the comic book. The most confident, incredibly powerful, secure team leader. It's really a season for Grant to shine in a way that perhaps he hasn't been able to shine always, and it's very exciting. The question is, how is that wrapped up in his romance with Iris? They're in a really good place right now at the end of Season 7, and that will obviously continue, but I think their biggest challenge that they've ever faced lies ahead, and it's going to be tough. It's going to take what I consider to be one of the greatest love stories in the history of television to survive what they are about to go through, especially in the back half of Season 8, but don't worry, it will be a happy ending. So, now this is very interesting because I think there's two sides to Eric's answer here. At first, he confirms next season is going to be heavy on The Flash. So, a lot of people's criticisms about this last season, season 7, has been that it's mainly been about the characters surrounding The Flash, right? It's not directly been like shining on Barry all these episodes, right? Like in the past, they would mainly all be about like Barry and The Flash. But now it seems like Eric is fully going into that and he realizes probably from some of the criticisms that the show has been getting this season that he needs to shine a light on Grant because Grant is always excellent. Like anytime he shows up, he's so good. But actually focusing on him as like the main center focus of the show obviously is the Flash. So he should be the main focus. But now they're making a conscious effort to turn Grant into the Flash from the comic book in that he will be the most confident, incredibly powerful and secure team leader and this leads on from where he left off at the end of the season 7 finale where it turns out the Flash is more powerful than Reverse Flash as of right now. It wasn't clear if this was because of Nora or if he's actually advanced but with what Eric is saying it seems like he is incredibly powerful and he's much more powerful than before so he's going to be keeping that power and also he's going to be a secure team leader, so he's going to be more bold in terms of being a leader. That's obviously very good. And also he's going to be more confident. So these are some big changes for Barry and I'm looking forward to that. I think people are going to take very kindly to this because it kind of goes against what happened this season with Barry being like second to a lot of the other characters. Although sometimes it's like heavily on him, it wasn't as much as past seasons. So it's great to see that and Grant is going to shine, as he always does. But let's go into the back half of Eric's answer. So this is where it gets a bit controversial, I feel like. I know a lot of you guys who are watching the video aren't, like, fully for, you know, West Allen or the love stories that they do on the show, and saying that, you know, The Flash is going to be the main center focus, it's going to be all on Grant, but then literally contrasting that with 
emphasizing how important it is that like Barry's character is wrapped up with Iris and their romance and it's going to be continuing on from what they did this season as well so you're going to have it focusing on Barry but also focusing on the West Allen side of things but I have to say what he says next does make a lot of sense and it makes me kind of not question the romance stuff that they're going to be focusing on because it's a CW they do that and I don't really have a big problem with it but I just know a lot of you guys do have a problem with it however he says is going to be heavily linked into like the main challenge of the season. So essentially saying the villain of the season is somehow linked to Barry and Iris. And I think that's actually good. And they're obviously going to go through a lot in this next season. And especially the back half Eric teases. So there will be a happy ending, but it's going to be tough along the way. It's kind of weird that he confirms it's going to be a happy ending. I feel like that's a bit spoilery, but whatever but i think the main thing to take away from his back half answer here is that it seems like the main villain of the season will somehow be linked into what is going on with barry and iris and that's why the romance is going to be still prevalent okay so let's move on to the next question from deadline who asks will we revisit past villains this fall or be introduced to new villains eric wallace replies this year we'll see as usual a combination of both our graphic novel format will continue and one of those graphic novels has a brand new villain to the Flash, to the Arrowverse, which I'm very, very excited about. He's a very scary fellow and when he shows up we might dip our toes into the world of horror and the supernatural. So it's going to be very fun and very different for the show but also we will see some returning classic Flash villains that we all know and love. So, wow, a lot to take away, but this is a heavy teaser for the villain we're gonna get next season. And if I were to theorize about what Eric is teasing with him mentioning the idea of horror and supernatural, it seems like this person is going to be not necessarily human. And so instantly my ideas go to like Red Death, like what happens if they actually go for, you know, the tease that they tease back in season 5 and that people have been hoping for for a long time. He is literally quite demonic and I think that is kind of the imagery that he brings across when he's around. So maybe it is Red Death, however I think they would do a twist from the comics where it wouldn't be like a version of Bruce Wayne or Batman, it would be a version of another character who happened to have speedster powers and is extremely scary. And so he does confirm it's going to be a brand new villain, which is very exciting. However, he does specify that one of those graphic novels, and you know, there's two graphic novels in the next season, will be having a new villain. And so does that suggest that in the second graphic novel, whether that's the first one or the second one of the season, are they going to be someone we've seen before? So does this confirm that we're going to see like Reverse Slash return in the back half? And maybe he's the main villain that could definitely possibly be a thing but we'll have to wait and see so i'm very much so looking forward to this i can't wait for them to delve into whoever this villain is again cobalt blue is something that is a possibility he would be pretty scary i think those are just like the two basic picks that a lot of people are going to be going for and sort of theorizing about so that's why i'm bringing them up here if i have any other kind of more obscure theories i'll be sure to do a video on it pretty soon and also along with this at the end of the question eric wallace confirmed that some returning classic flash villains that we all know and love will return i don't know who specifically it is but it will be people from the flashes rogues gallery that we've seen on the show before so look forward to that but deadline also asked another question we got two more questions here so they say, at the end of tonight's episode, so this was a couple of days back, Kavanaugh's Eobard Thorn, aka Reverse Flash, vanishes. It's suggested, though, that he will be back someday. Do you have concrete plans for his return? So Eric Wallace responds by saying, I'm not going to answer that because there's spoilers involved there. I will only say this. The Reverse Flash is a person that keeps his promises, and then Eric laughed after that. So... This pretty much confirms we're going to be seeing Ibar Thorn, and I don't know if this means that Season 8 is going to be a thing. I would suggest that it's probably going to be Season 8, especially with what I just brought up with saying one of the main graphic novel villains is going to be new, and that suggests that the other one is going to be old, and with them setting up 
him actually returning and being much faster, what's the chances that he shows up in the back half and is the main villain? I think that's still very, very high. So the reverse flash is someone who keeps their promises and he's for sure going to be returning. So look forward to Tom Kavanagh coming back as reverse flash whenever the time comes. I'm suggesting it's going to be in the back of season eight, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, let's move on to the final question. Now, this isn't really related to villains or anything like that, but it is related to season eight. So I thought I would just include this at the end because I didn't include it yesterday. So as Barry and Iris renew their vows, Cecile hints to Joe that she loves weddings. So I imagine their romance will be further explored next season as well. Eric Wallace says this, one thing I'll say that's related to the question directly is we're going to have a few more relationships blossoming in season eight of The Flash than we've seen in the last two years. I won't say what characters, but let's just say romance is going to be in the air in a very bizarre way in the middle and back half of our season. It's going to be really fun and you might even see some old familiar faces from our first few seasons of the show. So obviously that's exciting, always seeing returning characters, maybe someone is going to get into a relationship with one of them, I guess that's what he's suggesting. However, there is going to be more relationships occurring, it seems like they're definitely setting up Allegra and Chester to be a thing, although they've only like referenced it a couple of times, and it seems like they're more friends, but they're not really friends, they're kind of like acquaintances at this point, so that hasn't actually been built upon, although it's been kind of teased. Obviously you're going to get the Frost and Chillblain stuff because that has been heavily built up this season with their multiple appearances throughout the back half, so that's going to be a thing, and I think those two relationships is probably what Eric is referring to. In regards to Cecile, yes, in the finale it was pretty damn clear that she was suggesting to Joe, oh, we should get married, you know, like, oh, we should have, like, another wedding or something, so maybe that happens, maybe there's, like, another wedding for them, that would be interesting, I mean, not, like, the most important thing, I guess, because it's just a wedding, and, I mean, they're very solid, like, they're always gonna be together, pretty much, is how it's been set up, so... It wouldn't be a surprise if they went down that route, but we'll have to tune into next season to see if that actually goes down. But that about does it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new to not miss any future videos. Also, click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. And for now, just keep on watching my videos. Gonna have the third part of this mini-series that I'm doing to do with the Deadline article. That's going to be coming out tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.